Well, it's trash day and I overslept. It's Tuesday and Tuesday they come by early and get the trash, so guess what? Nothing. And I mean nothing. Yep, they've already been around. So I was done. It's 10 o'clock. And the heck of it is, I, uh, I was woke up at 6. I woke up at six and I just laid back down for a minute and guess what? It was 9.30 before I woke back up. So, ain't gonna be much today. Nope, sure ain't, it's all gone. All been picked up. Plus, it feels like it's gonna be right warm today. My goodness. Yep. I blew it. I know better than to lay back down once I get up. Hey, Michelle. Hey. Where's your stick? What are you doing out here? Huh? What are you doing out here? I live right around the corner. You do? Yeah, where's your cane? It's at home. I didn't go too far. I took, I didn't, I took, I came out of the hospital. Well, I didn't come out of the hospital. Yeah. I got hit by a car, a truck. You got hit by a car? A truck. When? Wednesday, the 24th. Where was you at? Um, coming, coming from Publix. Of course, it was dark outside. I was coming from Publix. I was getting some medication. I got my medication, a drink, and I had my cane with me. And then, out of nowhere, this white pickup truck came and hit me. Came from behind and hit me. But I'm okay. I mean, I mean, I'm. Did he stop? Yeah, he stopped. It wasn't a hit and run. It wasn't a hit and run. He stopped to get out and see if I was okay. But the ambulance came and took me to the hospital. And all they did was do x-rays, took an x-ray. Yeah. Well, that's gee, that's what makes me nervous about going out there on the road with this. Well, I can't help it if, I know, you too, you could get hit. Anybody could hit you. Because if they would make some darn sidewalks out on this road and some darn street lights, it probably wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. The pedestrian. But they ain't gonna do it because they're too cheap. Yeah. They're not gonna do it. No. I was thinking about see if I could make a, uh, what do you call that? Protest, protest mm -hmm. sign and see if everybody could sign it. Because I'm getting tired of people honking and saying, move out of the way, move out of the way. Well, you want me to move out of the way? Help me, help me. Stop taking care of the government and, and tell the government to do something with the tax money all y'all paying for. Yeah. Because all, all people do it taking care of the government. Yeah. All right, dear. I'll see you later, maybe. I'll see you. You been up to public so many? No. I'm fixing uh, to go. I feel like going. Huh? I feel like going. I said I feel like going. Cause yeah. I've been in the house, I've been in the house ever since I got hit. Yeah? Yeah. Alright dear, I'll see you later. See ya. Have a good day, baby. Dang. 
and that that really that really makes me nervous. Maybe I need to stay off that road. It's the main road through here going down to where Publix is at, but you know, I can, I don't have to go that way. I just go that way looking looking for trash but dang and she's legally blind and she's got a white cane with a red tip on it and that lets everybody know that <clears throat> holy crap that just that scares the pea hunky doodles out of me. Dang. I, I hate to admit it, but you know, that may keep me off that road now. Because she got hit by a darn car. I guess she was pretty sore. Thank God she wasn't hurt. Well, I mean, you know, injured I imagine it hurt but dang I don't think I'm gonna go back out there I'll, I'll go the back way all the time I don't really get that much on that stretch of road there but it's just more or less change of scenery for me Is that anything? There ain't nothing. Yeah, I'll just go the back way. I'm gonna head over to Publix. Trash has all been picked up, so. Ain't gonna be no pickings for the day. I hate I missed that. That gun it. I have got to get my sleeping routine back in shape again, and so is my grandson, because school starts in about two weeks. And during the summer when you, you don't have to get up and everything at no particular time, and he's not going to school, you kind of get out of the routine now. Ain't gonna be no getting up and then laying back down. Shell got hit. Oh my God. Just. Gee, that makes me nervous. I'll be dwelling on that all day. That guy must have sold that one car because it's gone. And the white car's still here, and it's been here for a while, months. And he sold that other one in a hurry. Gee whiz. Yeah, trash is all gone. I bet they've even been over here in this neighborhood.
What you? What are you up to? Oh, you know these uh, retention ponds that the county owns. They got me going around all over Orlando and Marion County and just just spraying them so the weed whackers don't have to spend as much time. Oh, fence lines. okay. So I'm just out here spraying chemical along the fence lines just to kill all the weeds and stuff like yeah. that. Can you drive one of those on the road or is it illegal? Um, technically, yes. Not on a highway or any sort of like overly busy. Um, it's sort of like finicky because if you go on the road, you have to stay on the road. You can't be bouncing back and forth between the sidewalk and the road, which is what I do a lot of on this thing. So, uh, most of what, taking it on the road is legal, yes, but how you like use it is sort of like can be illegal and sometimes what I do isn't necessarily the most legal thing. But mm -hmm. I just look to see if a cop is around. It's the same thing as speeding. Yeah. yeah. How much one of them cost? Oh shit, a brand new one? I think like 1800 to $2,500, I think. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, really, it's not that bad. And uh, the gas-powered one, I mean, it gets up to about... I topped off at about 50 miles an hour. And uh, it's been able to do... I've taken it through pretty much mud and shoulder-high grass and taken it pretty much everywhere. So yeah. if you needed to get somewhere, $1,500 is a lot cheaper than a car if you were just living out, you know. Yeah, it is that. Nowhere. All right, my friend, you have a good day. Yeah, you too, sir. That's not bad. But it's not for me because I imagine it would haul more, but you ain't know where to put it unless you pull the trailer. I'm afraid that if I The legalities of all this stuff anymore. It's just got me put. I know I'm gonna have to do something different than what I'm doing. Um, I, uh, I, I know I've got to do something. This is not gonna do it uh, because they've already told me that I'm using this for what it was not intended because I do a lot of stopping and going stopping and going and uh, and if I haul weight and there's been a time or two that I haul some weight you know that one time I had that flat screen TV I had a, a big heavy printer and a heavy old school xbox and that's the first time that my battery thing started acting up and that's a uh, nothing ain't gonna be nothing what are you even looking in there for dauber nothing Well done. Oh man, look at that. Look what he has got there. I don't know if you can see him. He's got two sets of signal lights from on the road. Wonder how in the world he got those. Boy, I'd like to have them. Why, what the heck would I do with it? I sell it, I guess. I. I wouldn't have no, I know they're expensive to get, you know, it's hard to find them. But he's in communication, so nothing. Well, there's a trash can over there. At least I'll get to look at some trash. That tuner, oh, that's feet starting to look like fan blades or something. What is that? Oh, that's one of those. <laughs> uh, 
I know the name of them, but I don't know that. What is it? It's been cut. It's got leaks in it. Okay. It's got styrofoam pellets in it and it's been cut. Otherwise, I was going to take it. Not today. Well, I am finding absolutely nothing. Nothing or nothing. I prefer nothing. I figured out where I got that nothing from. Back when I was in business, Matter of fact, it was in the early 80s I was manufacturing luxury van furniture, seats and sofas and stuff. And um, there was this one kid that worked for me. He's not a kid anymore. He's in his 40s. Uh, name was Robert. One of the best employees I ever had. But he, that's what he always said when you'd ask him, Well, what are you doing, son? Nothing. Nothing. That's where I picked that up at. Sure is. Um. Went over to Publix this morning and uh, pick up some more meds of mine. And there's no copays on any of my meds except one, which is called Janumet. It's very expensive, but it's for my diabetes. And uh, when I went over there, I had told them not to fill that one yet because I couldn't afford it right now. There's a copay on it. It's not that much, but here at the end of the month, I got no spendable funds. And it was only $8, but when I got there to pick it up, <sighs> They already had it filled, and uh, GoPro stopped recording. Uh, it it was in that batch, and I said we're going to put that back because I don't, I don't. It's the end of the month. I don't have the money to pay for that till for a couple of days. And there was this guy behind me. Uh, he looked familiar. I couldn't remember him, but he looked at the cashier and said, no, dear, I'll take care of it. And I looked at him, and why would you do that? And he said, well, I want to thank you for your service. Referring, I guess, to me being a veteran. First thought in my head, how do you know I'm a veteran? And he said, you gave me a card a while back. And I've been looking at your channel. And I'll just take care of this for you. So how about that? GoPro stopped recording. I was, I was surprised, you know, that... Uh, he did that. I'll recognize him from now on. But I ha I passed out a lot of my cards over there when I talked to people and stuff, you know. Trying to drum up some subscribers. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was shocked. But I guess that was his way of paying it forward. <laughs> yeah, I, I was really shocked when he did that. But I got my meds, made my rounds, and um, got outside, and there was Sam, the, the Vietnam combat veteran. He's been on my videos before. And I was just reviewing the videos of that, and somehow or another, that particular clip got corrupted it would I, it won't work and in it I had told Sam I said I've had you on some of my videos and a couple of my subscribers said well, thank you for your service and he said well I appreciate that I said do you go on the computer no I can't fool with that he said but anyway that part's out of the video uh, I don't know why that camera decides to do that every once in a while. I can usually tell when it does it because right in mid sentence or something it'll beep a couple of times and turn off without me telling it to do that. GoPro, stop recording. Yeah, it just decides to do that at the drop of a hat. I can't figure it out and I don't guess I'll ever figure it out, but a lot of times it loses something that I was really wanting to show but uh, but anyway Sam said he thanks you and y'all know who you are uh, and after that I when I left there I said earlier in on this video that I wasn't going back out on that road again with this scooter because Michelle that was in this video was telling me she got hit by a truck while she was, she's the blind lady, or almost blind. And she was in the hospital for a day. Thankfully she wasn't injured. But, um, she, I've told her several times, I just live right down the street from her, but every time she sees me over here, she's like, what are you doing over here? And I told her in this video, I said, Michelle, I just live right down the street. And she seemed surprised, so I, maybe she's forgetful, I don't know. GoPro stopped recording. But she, Michelle, she's the same lady that come pecking on my bedroom window one day. And I thought she was looking for me, so she, right now, the way she's talking, she didn't know where I live, so I don't know. I don't know why she was pecking on my window's to the front of the house, so. But I didn't answer the door or anything. I just went on lock. I didn't hear nothing. But, uh, I have got something. I'm wondering. If certain YouTubers or creators has deliberately left me in the dark about about stuff, uh, how to do your YouTube channels and stuff like that, and in other words, pointers and tips. But now. YouTube stopped recording. But now, one of my subscribers put me, gave me a tip and said there's something called TubeBuddy and that it was free. Well, the free parts, that's almost, you get a free version of it. But then if there's a certain other things you want about it, you have to pay extra. 
and I got I went to that I subscribed to it and uh, I got to looking at it and all of a sudden all this stuff that I've been having problems with trying to figure out how some of these other channels do it and nobody ever was uh, like tags uh, you know tags that you put in there on your videos for, for, so that you get get more people that will actually uh, come across your video when they put in certain phrases and taglines and stuff and it explained all that and it, and it gives and it gives you it it'll search your your video and tell you what's the best taglines you can use for that and stuff and some of the subscribers that i've been subscribed to for a long time when i asked one about it well i don't go in for that too much uh the tag i don't put much into taglines and all that but turns out he's been using them all along he never told me about it. I don't know if that was deliberate or not. But I got the free version of it. But then I wanted more info that it won't go share unless you bought part of it. So it, there was a thing on there that said if you have less than a thousand subscribers, you get 50% off which I fell into that category. So I went ahead and subscribed for a month. I'm paying $4.20 a month for this service. And uh, you will probably notice some difference in my custom thumbnails. It will generate uh, thumbnails for you that looks very professional and everything. So I don't know. I don't know. It kind of troubles me that nobody never told me about this before. And I know for a fact that three or four of them are using this particular uh, Cube Buddy. Uh, maybe it was just oversight on their part. I would hope that's what it was instead of thinking maybe they deliberately keeping me in the dark. I, I, it wouldn't be to their advantage to keep me in the dark. But uh, GoPro stop recording. Uh, so you're, you're going to see some uh, definite improvements on my channel and probably going to see me get substantially more uh, subscribers. Because it's enlightened me about a lot of things that I just never thought about. Never thought about. Now I did have somebody one time tell me they like my thumbnails. But I make, I, I, I take a picture. And uh, something else this thing will do, when I make a, upload a video to YouTube, uh, it gives me the opportunity to go, start going through my video, and any picture in that video that I want to use for my thumbnail, I can click on it, and it will freeze that particular frame. And I can use that in my thumbnail. And the way I've been doing it is when I make a video, I'll also make a snapshot, a picture of whatever it is I'm wanting in my thumbnail. Cause then, and then I have to upload it to my uh, photo editing and edit it in there, you know, and put in the, the text and stuff that I want and the style I want and all that stuff, which is a hard way to do it. Not a hard way, but it takes longer. And uh, uh, it, uh, and this tube buddy, 
Uh, <laughs> it will. It will. You just you just click on the image you want out of your uh, video, and it'll make your thumb your custom thumbprint or thumbnail out of that. So that eliminates me about having to go out there and take a picture. Because a lot of times I'll make a video and I'll forget to take a picture. So now I can just snag it off of anywhere on that video that I want. Which is a distinct advantage, you know, speed-wise and everything. So yeah, it, it's going to help me out a lot. GoPro, stop recording. Yeah, that I'm sure glad that... Uh, this lady, a subscriber of mine, tipped me off for that. I, I mean, boy, that has just got me really excited about the quality of my videos and stuff and how much more it's going to be. Plus, I've about got my daughter uh, talked into going with me one afternoon on one of her days off and let's travel. I want to go around town and take a picture of all these horse statues that's all around that uh, the the what do they call it horses of marion county something like that i, I want there's a bunch of them and they're it, they're art they really are very, very artistic they're life-size horses but they're painted up in all different kinds of uh, decor and stuff about got her talked into doing that with me. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, somebody's been after me to make a, another video about gabapentin. That's a, that's a medicine, prescription medicine. And there's a lot of pros and cons about gabapentin, which is, is a generic of neuroitin. And uh, it's being prescribed for a lot of things that it wasn't intended for. The, the original purpose for gabapentin and neurointin was for uh, people with epilepsy that had seizures and stuff. And now they're prescribing it a lot for different kinds of pain. And specifically, one pain is, is, is uh, uh, neuropathy, which is something that diabetics get a lot in their feet and stuff and numbness in their hands. And some people's been wanting me to talk about that again. So my next video is going to be about gabapentin, which you may or may not be interested in. But uh, that's it. And I guess I'm going to try to get this video finished up today. Uh, I try to stay one video ahead of uh what i like i just now had one go go up and i'm trying to make them uh publish around three o'clock every day i keep saying i'm not going to do one a day but seem like here lately i've been winding up doing one a day but it's just so hard uh it's not hard it's just time consuming it's very time consuming uh, uh, matter of fact, one day I'm going to make a video, I'm going to take you through completely what all it involves. And then you'll just see how much time it takes. It's, it's work. It's work. And so I know some people is putting up one a day and sometimes more than one a day. Now, sometimes uh, Scrap Life 24-7 We'll put up two or three a day, but he he does this with his phone. He doesn't do it on a computer. He doesn't edit it for the most part. And uh, I don't know if he can edit it or not on that phone, but it never does. But the video never sees a lot of day on a computer and photo editing and all, or video editing and all that stuff. And sometimes he'll put up three or four days, but they're short ones. But uh, the way I do it, it'd be impossible. So, but that's the way he does it. And 
he drives me up the wall though he, he he's sitting there he don't have a tripod or nothing he sets it on he sits there and he's trying to do something and like it'd be like me trying to get this out from under there you know like that or do it with both hands he's he's got the camera in one or the, he's got the uh he's got the phone in one hand and working with the other hand the other day he was trying to open the left well he did open it one-handed <laughs> just i'm sorry marty but that just drives me up the freaking wall it just does uh, but that's the way he does it and you, I used to I would really critique somebody doing something a certain way but you know what I don't do that anymore they got their way I got my way if it irritates me it irritates me so what but that opening that letter with one hand while holding that phone that just <laughs> I wish he could have heard me yapping about that as he was doing it. But that's that's his way. That is his way. And yeah, I've been doing a hat trick with you guys. Not a hat trick, but I've been changing hats. I just wanted to see if somebody would notice it. And I guess they'd have. We'll see, but I got a lot of hats, as you can see. Where's my other hat? Oh, it's under that one. But that, anyway. Just playing with you a little bit. But, I'll see you in the next video, and folks, that's my story, and I am sticking to it. GoPro, stop recording. Well, there's a trash can with some stuff. And it's probably just going to be stuff. Proper carry out. That's a pizza box. Oh, what is this? I'm thinking... That's a cork board, and I need that. I need a cork board. And I need some push pins. Do my little notes and stuff. Instead of sticking them all over the wall. How about that? Done found something. It's trash, but it's trash I need. <clears throat> now, is this the street I turn on? I'm going to wait till he moves. Well, what you gonna do? There he goes. He don't know what he's gonna do.
GoPro stop recording. <laughs>